In this video we will tell you everything you need to know about Maltese puppies. If you don't want to miss this, including our selection of the Maltese dog of the day, please watch till the end, like this video and learn a lot you did not know yet about puppies. For now, let's start by explaining a bit about how you could possibly find a Maltese puppy to take home with you. Adopting a Maltese puppy may surprise you, but it is an option in some cases. Most breed rescues state that a majority of their rescue dogs originate through individual owner surrender. The most common reasons being a change in lifestyle or the breed not being suited for them, according to the American Kennel Club. This indicates that there may be a large number of dogs and puppies looking for a new forever home. The biggest distinction between a breeder and a rescue organization is that a rescue organization may not always have young puppies to select from. The advantage is that most shelters are required to adopt out only microchipped and spayed or neutered pets. As a result, you can end up with a dog who is already housebroken and doesn't require these typical medical procedures. You can also come across a Maltese mix that combines all of the desirable characteristics of the breed with a few extras. And now it's time to prepare and get your home ready once you've found the perfect Maltese puppy. We will give you 10 useful strategies to raise your Maltese puppy in a healthy way and be the best pet parent you can be. 1. Veterinary checkups on a regular basis. During the first 4 to 5 months of life, your puppy should visit the veterinarian multiple times. After that, once a year for the remainder of his life will do. Establishing a good relationship with your veterinarian is crucial because he or she will be your pet's best advocate for good health and its behavior treatment. Whenever you are in doubt about anything that has to do with your puppy's well-being, please always consult your veterinarian. This also goes for the questions you might have after learning about the tips in this video. 2. Series of vaccinations needed. Many diseases could harm your puppy, but they can all be avoided with a course of vaccines. Consult your veterinarian to set a schedule for administering the appropriate vaccinations at the appropriate times. Put these dates on your calendar or ask your vet to send you a reminder when it is time for a new vaccination. 3. Neutering and spaying. This simple surgery can help avoid problems such as reproductive malignancies and infection later in life. It can also aid in the prevention of hormone-related undesirable behaviors. Most notably, it aids in the reduction of overpopulation. While the traditional age for neutering is 6 to 9 months, puppies as young as 8 weeks old can be neutered as long as they're healthy. 4. Socialization in the right way. It is critical for your puppy's development to provide regular socialization. Once the puppy vaccine series has been completed, approximately four months of age, it is advisable to begin training lessons. The goal of socialization is to assist your puppy become accustomed to a wide variety of sights, sounds, and smells in a pleasant way. Proper socialization can help a dog develop into a well-mannered, happy companion by preventing him from becoming afraid of things like riding in a car or being with children. 5. House training. Potty training success hinges on consistency. Create and keep to a timetable that fits with your everyday routine. Pets require consistency and regularity and most important is to establish such a routine for your puppy. Take your puppy outside frequently, at least every two hours, and right after they wake up, play, eat, or drink. Choose a specific bathroom spot outside and take your puppy to that same place on a leash every time. Once your puppy eliminates outside, reward him, for example with a treat. Besides potty training, crate training is also highly recommended, as this is something great for you and your dog. Enclosed areas provide a safe haven for your dog to relax and rest. Dogs, in fact, seek for limited spaces to build protective shelters for themselves. Please note that crate training and potty training go hand in hand. Dogs are not fond of soiling their sleeping places. You won't have to clean up messes because they learn to hold their bladder while in their crate. Later in this video you will learn the other 5 puppy tips you have to be aware of for the first weeks to raise your puppy well. Now, let's go to our favorite part, the Maltese dog of the day. Today we have chosen this cute little Maltese puppy macho from the United Arab Emirates, 
on this picture five months old. Macho is very loving and happy-going, we can see that clearly from this photo. What a sweetheart! Do you also want your Maltese dog to be featured on our next video? Then first, subscribe and second, write a comment about your Maltese in the comment section below. We will then contact you and maybe we will see your dog next time on this channel as Maltese Dog of the Day. We have now come to puppy tip number 6. Dental Hygiene. One of the most common diseases in dogs is periodontal disease. Within the first few years of life, bacteria begins to grow on teeth. If left untreated, these bacterium can enter the bloodstream and cause problems throughout the body. Dental care and maintenance on a regular basis should be discussed with your veterinarian. 7. Exercise and diet. It's critical to choose the right diet for your puppy's nutrition and development. You will find many different kinds of dog food on the market. Always talk to your veterinarian about which brand to use and how much to feed your puppy. It is recommended of course to continue with the same nutrition your puppy had at its breeder. Always have fresh water on hand, especially when it's hot outside. 8. Protection against hazards in the home. Puppy proof your home as early as possible because they are inquisitive and will look into everything. It is logic that toxic chemicals and food should be kept away from your puppy. Antifreeze, bleach, and other household cleansers should always be kept in a lockable cabinet. Grapes, raisins, onions, chocolate, and xylitol are the most common food toxins for your puppy. Xylitol is mostly found in sugar-free gum and certain brands of peanut butter. 9. Companionship. Remember that your puppy prefers to play with you over almost everything else. Give your puppy the attention and praise them whenever he or she requires to keep up their good conduct. Be the leader they admire, respect, and love. Make sure your puppy has enough toys and activities to keep them occupied while you're gone. 10. Preventing parasites throughout the year. Fleas, ticks, heartworm, and internal parasites are just a few of the things your puppy will need to avoid. Early detection is very important so always consult your veterinarian about adequate means of control to treat or prevent parasites. Humans may be exposed to parasites from dogs. Keep your pet's parasite prevention plan up to date to protect your entire family. Fortunately, there are many parasite preventatives available including annual injections, topical applications, shampoos and sprays, tablets and chews, and collars. Do you love Maltese dogs as well? Then be sure to subscribe to our channel and leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. So, which of these 10 puppy tips would you consider most interesting to learn more about? Please let us know in the comment section below, so we are able to meet your wishes and provide you with more specific information on these topics in our next videos.